Okay, so this lesson is about non-communicable diseases, okay? What we need to do is look at the four images that represent four types of diseases, okay? We've got measles in the top left, we've got malaria on the top right, we've got liver damage on the bottom left, okay, which is caused by excessive alcohol consumption, okay? And then on the bottom right, we've got tobacco mosaic virus, okay? I want you to find the odd one out, okay? So pause the video, have a think about it and pause the video. Okay, so measles is transmitted person to person. Malaria is transmitted person to person by mosquitoes. A tobacco mosaic virus is transmitted from plant to plant uh, via contact, okay? But liver disease cannot be transmitted person to person. This means it's a non-communicable disease, okay? So if it can be transmitted, like measles, malaria, or tobacco mosaic virus, it's called communi a communicable disease. If it cannot be transmitted, okay, it cannot be passed from person to person, it's known as a non-communicable disease. Okay, so, little task for you. You've got the four, four keywords there, okay, you need to fill in the blanks on here. Okay, once you've done that, I want you to identify two examples of non-communicable diseases. Do not use liver um, disease. So you've just gone through that one. So two other examples of non-communicable diseases. Okay. So pause the video and fill in the blanks and do your examples. Okay. So non-communicable diseases can't be transmitted by people or objects. Okay. Two examples of non-communicable diseases, okay, we've got diabetes, we've got liver disease, lung disease, cancer, you can have heart disease, okay, anything that cannot be transferred from person to person. Okay, so a little bit more detail on cancer, okay. Um, cancer occur when cell division goes wrong, okay, basically they grow out of control and form tumours or a tumour. Okay, there's two types of tumours, you can either have malignant or benign, okay? Malignant, malig malignant um, are cancerous and can break apart and move around the body to make new cancers, okay, in a process called metastasis. Okay, benign, tu benign tumours are less serious because they're not actually cancerous and they do not spread. Okay, so risk factors for disease. Okay, a risk factor is something that will increase the likelihood of you getting that disease. Okay, so on the left, you've got four non communicable diseases okay, lung disease, liver disease, brain damage, and cardiovascular disease, which is heart disease. Okay, I want you to link these to these three risk factors. Okay, so smoking, alcohol, and lack of exercise. Um, a little tip is cardiovascular disease has two risk factors. So pause the video and I want you to link those together. Write it down on your paper and link them together. Okay, so lung disease, okay, risk factor is smoking. So if you smoke, you've got an increased chance of developing lung disease. Liver disease, okay, if you drink alcohol, you've got an increased chance of developing liver disease. Same with brain damage, okay? If you drink excessive alcohol, you've got an increased chance of developing brain damage. And cardiovascular disease it has smoking and a lack of exercise. So if you've got lack of ex if you don't exercise, you've got an increased chance of, of heart disease. If you smoke as well, you've got an even greater chance of heart disease, okay? Okay, but why is it a risk factor? Okay, so smoking in the case of lung disease, okay can damage the bron bronchioles and the alveoli, okay? This means it will reduce the surface area, so less oxygen can diffuse into the bloodstream and less oxygen can diffuse, uh, le less carbon dioxide, sorry, can diffuse out of the bloodstream. Um, smoking in cardiovascular disease, okay, it's a risk factor because um, it damages the line of the arteries, okay, including 
a coronary artery. Okay, it build makes a, a build up of fatty uh, deposits, okay, which can lead to a heart attack or stroke. Okay, alcohol in liver disease, okay, it can damage damage the liver, okay, because it can't filter out the all the toxins, okay, fast enough. It can damage your brain, okay, by shrinking, causing brain shrinking, leading to memory problems, okay, long term. And then a lack of exercise, okay, puts a, a strain on your heart, okay, so your heart has to work harder, okay, to do normal things, okay. So if you imagine that your heart is pumping faster anyway because of lack of exercise, okay, the heart's going faster, and then you also smoke, so you've got these fatty deposits, okay, this is what can lead to heart attack. We've got a true and false quiz. The questions are, non-communicable diseases cannot be transmitted, okay, is that true or false? Non-communicable diseases are contagious. A risk factor is something which puts you at risk of getting a disease. A risk factor for liver damage is alcohol. Two organs that are affected by alcohol are the liver and large intestine. Obesity okay, is a risk factor for type 2 diabetes. Cardiovascular disease is a communicable disease. Okay, So answer those true or false. Okay, Write them down. Pause the video, do that, and when you finish, we'll go, when you when you finish, we'll go through the answers. Okay, so non-communicable diseases cannot be transmitted. That is true. Non-communicable diseases are contagious. That is false. A risk factor is something which puts you at risk of getting a disease. That is true. Okay, the risk factor for liver damage is alcohol true alcohol is also a risk factor for brain damage as well if you remember two fact two organs that are affected by alcohol are the liver and large intestine that is false because as i've just said it's the liver and the brain okay this one's a bit tricky yet to think outside the box a bit obesity is a risk factor for type 2 diabetes that is true okay so obesity is linked to lack of exercise not always but in, mo in some cases okay and type 2 diabetes is a non-communicable disease that we haven't been that we haven't gone through but obesity is a risk factor for that one so that was a bit of a tricky question okay to see if you have some outside knowledge cardiovascular disease is a communicable disease it's false okay it's a non-communicable disease you've got to be careful with the non communicable disease and the communicable disease. So as I briefly said earlier, malignant cancers, okay, form a tumour like this. Okay, they start off as normal cells, okay, then something goes wrong in the pathway so they um, you, um, replicate uncontrollably, okay, and end up as a mass like this. Okay, this can either be benign or malignant. Okay, in a benign tumour, these cells will just keep um, duplicating here, okay, and they won't go anywhere else, so they can be cut out if it's a problem or you know easily easily resolved. Okay, malignant tumor, these cells here can break away and travel through the bloodstream and land in the new site. Okay, so if a new cell lands here, one of these malignant cancer cells, okay, it can start. To replicate okay and make a new tumor here okay that can become a problem if the tumor goes somewhere where it's difficult to get to okay it can also spread all over your body and cause all sorts of problems okay and that is what cancer is okay so last part a little quiz okay is it benign or malignant okay so this is the behavior of the tumor Okay, so question one, remain in one area. Okay, is it benign or malignant? Okay, it's known as cancer, benign or malignant. It can spread, benign or malignant. Okay, cells can break off and travel in the blood, do not invade other parts of the body, and can form secondary tumours. Okay, answer those, pause the video and answer those.
Okay, so remain in one area or malignant is benign. Known as cancer is malignant. It can spread is also malignant. Cells can break off and travel in the blood. It's malignant again. They do not invade other parts of the body. Okay? It's benign. Can form secondary tumours. It's malignant. <laughs>